Okay, I made up my mind. I think I was going to do too much and it was just going to be really long. Um, I'll do a different drag makeup contouring highlight later on. Um, one of my subscribers on YouTube and a close friend of mine, Hi Sarai, um, she really wanted to uh, know how to contour and highlight or learn more about it or just, you know, know how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it like... Like I would if I would be going, you know, wearing makeup every day on a daily basis and, or, you know, you can do this just for a special occasion. If you're going to go to the club or you, you have a, an event or a party or something, or you're just, you know, going on a date or something, you you know, just apply your foundation and I'm, I'm applying it with my hands, y'all. You can use a beauty blender. You can use a foundation brush. There's many things you can use. I chose to use my hands. I feel like... I have a little bit more of a control of where I apply it, but use a brush. <laughs> I can say that. Use a brush. Use a beauty blender. Uh, I usually, when I like, I have two different ones. I have one for a darker one, and then I have one for the lighter one, so I can just really tone it down. But I'm really keeping it basic, so all, everybody, anybody can do this. You don't need all no, none of this. I'm going to show you just basic products that are very affordable. You can just go and get them. You don't need no fancy Nancy sponge or nothing. Just come on and uh, I'm going to show you a really way so everybody out there can do it. I know everybody can use their hands and work with them. Some people don't have beauty blenders or don't want to go out there just to achieve this. You don't need a sponge. You don't need a makeup brush to really do this. But you'll, you'll need something. I can tell you that. But you laid the foundation down and I'm, I'm, I'm using just... Uh, like, you know, I, I'm a real girl, honey. I'm using my CoverGirl Olay Plus Olay. I know I've talked about this so many times. I have a whole review on them. They're great. They're, am they're amazing. They're two-in-one. It's the Tone Rehab, and it has Olay. That means it has, like, age-defying and a vintage to it. So it's really high coverage, and it's very, it's good for your skin. It's not so harmful with other ingredients that come in other foundations. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, I, I did I applied my foundation, so now I'm going to come with a setting powder. Um, girls out there, sometimes they're like, well, you know, I don't have a setting powder like this one. Well, maybe you have a powder foundation, and you're really going to uh, benefit from your powder foundation. Because if you have already a powder foundation, use it. Use your powder foundation and just set your liquid that you applied. I, I cannot stress enough. I wouldn't say this is not appropriate. You can go ahead and do it and that's fine. But I've never really met anybody that just puts liquid foundation on and calls it it. I feel like it needs some powder, it needs some blush or some contour. So go ahead and start setting everything. And this is a translucent powder. I know it's looks really light or whatever but it doesn't have any color payoff y'all okay so your ladies sometimes are like oh well i found the perfect foundation that matches my skin but i can't find a powder that matches or maybe sometimes i have a hard time uh, making sure it it matches me or something like that try a translucent powder there's different brands this is not the only translucent powder out there i know covergirl has one I know Maybelline has a translucent powder. You have to look for them. And you know, sometimes not all the stores have them. You kind of have to be like really looking and stuff like that. I know Walmart has some Walgreens and they they do carry uh, setting powders now and it's a little bit more uh, easier to find. But I believe this is just, does the job for me and this is just what I have. I do have other powders foundations, but this is what I like to use and I really like it. So that's why I'm using it. So, you know, okay, so you laid your foundation down and you are now going to start your contouring because you you already started to build the powder on your face. So I'm just going to get a, a brush that, you know, it's a fluffy brush. Uh, any fluffy brush would work. And you just want to take the powder off. You see what I'm saying? How it doesn't give you, like any color it just kind of dries your foundation that's basically what you want you want to dry your foundation so you don't have like a wet and you don't want to stick the the dark color like so you say you have a darker powder foundation or 
uh, something like this and it's just like a, a darker color of foundation or you have one of these contour palette thingies that you get, you know, this is a wet and wild, you can get it anywhere, it's probably like five bucks. It's very affordable, you just need a darker and you need a lighter. So uh, make sure that your powder is on there. You wouldn't want to put it right on top of your wet foundation. It's going to get really dark really quick. So this is why you used your setting powder or your translucent to make sure you now you can touch your face because it's not wet. You see what I'm saying? Some people um, really like this um, translucent powder. I know a lot of uh, friends that use it. Check it out if you really like it. It's affordable. I think it's like, I'm not sure on this price, but it's very cheap. I think it's like $3 or something like that. It's not even like that expensive. So I'm gonna use a flathead kabuki. Sorry, I had to find my little brush here. I put it away. Um, I'm just gonna use a flathead uh, kabuki. You can use a one of those brushes that really narrows down. You just want something really firm with a lot of hairs. You. You really want to make, you see how it's a flat top and it's just very firm, it's full. You want something full. And you don't want that match, girl. You don't want, you know, like, you really don't want to make it look like you have anything there. You want to keep it natural and shape it slightly so you can see something, but it's not like, oh, this girl really contoured. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, so just go ahead and you're going to do it on the hollow of your cheekbone. You're going to do it in the lowest plane. So you see, even without me applying any highlight and contour, look at my face already. It's doing it naturally. When I go like this, you can see some color right there, some color right there. Maybe you see this big old shadow down there. Your nose is naturally doing everything. It's just naturally happening. You're just adding more to make sure that when you move around, or maybe it's shady down here. Now it's like, damn, I can't see anything you're going to add some color right there because you want to make sure your bone structure is shaped. So go ahead, tap it in here. Please shake that powder off because look at all that. That was in my brush and that was going to be a lot of color right there. I don't need all of that. You just want a little bit of the color. This is why you're getting the darkest because you're going to lightly build it up. You're not just going to put it on. You know, I'm just tapping it. I'm not really doing too much of a sweeping motion. I just want to tap the color in, make sure, you know, it's not too much. And then after I feel like, okay, maybe I like it. I like how this is looking. It's not too dark. Or maybe if you feel like, okay, maybe I want to go a little more. Maybe I want my cheek to really pop out. Add a little more color then because then you will be able to. But if you go ahead and you just boom, boom, it's going to be, it's going to be black, girl. It's going to be real dark, real black, and oh, girl. It's, you're going to be like, what am I doing to myself? You're trying to enhance your natural features. So I'm going to come here and make my forehead a little smaller. And I'm going to do it right here. This is why you would do it right here. You, it makes your forehead smaller. It kind of gives your eye a little bit more of a dimension right there. So yeah, girls, don't be afraid. I know, I know, you know, there's a lot of videos out there and there's also a lot of pictures on Instagram showing you, even now with these palettes, uh, they kind of give you a little bit of instruction. I know those don't really help that much. It's better to see actually somebody doing it. It's much easier. So I'm just doing it on both sides and I'm gonna do it on my cheeks, on my temples, on my forehead, right there in my nose, down my chin, and down my jawline, and on my chin right here. Um, other than that, that's all I'm gonna contour. Uh, I wanna keep this simple and make sure that it's, everybody can do it. You know, I feel like anybody can do it. If maybe you are not a big makeup user, or maybe you're just a beginner, or you're just starting and you really want to get like into contouring or something, or you've never contoured before, um, Go ahead, don't be try. Get something like this with two different colors or get uh, a dark powder foundation and then a light powder foundation. It's really easy. You don't need to do all that. Okay, now that I've patted everything in, I'm going to start doing some sort of circular motions. Make sure it's blended. When I start doing the circular motions, I'm now blending it out because I have shaken all the powder that I had in my brush. Yes, there's still powder in here. You um, always have that buildup on there, but 
when you tap it, you kind of just, you know, make sure you're really set and you're pushing it, the color in to build up a color. And now you're just trying to blend it out and you want to blend it down here and up and down. You, you know, you don't want to do none of this motions like this, just side to side, side to side. And you see how like that's kind of like where my cheek naturally like, yeah, that's where you want to bring it. You know, you don't want to bring it all the way down here. No, you just want to bring it from the end of your nose or your hairline starts and bring it down halfway and then blend it. That's what you really want to do. You want to put the darker powder up here by your hair, tap it here and then drag it down, drag it down, pat it, pat it and drag it down, girl. All right, we got our forehead contour. Do you see how there's more shape now? I'm gonna still come back with this fluffy brush and blend everything out because you cannot be enough blended. And this is all matte powders. I have not used any shimmering, no nothing. Um, I, I know now nowadays it's like, oh, a highlighting powder. Come on, Jeffree Star. Come on now. Uh, Skin Frost, it really, I need to get my hands on some of that. I really want some of that. But I do have uh, this one from Physician Formula. It's the Translucent Pearls. And this is gorgeous, girl. Let me just, sh let me show you. Like, if you've never tried this and you're now like, oh my God, I really like that Skin Frost, but he hasn't restocked. Try this one out. It's really good. It's uh, You can buy it at Walmart, Sephora. Uh, excuse me, you cannot buy this at Sephora. Any drugstore basically has it, but look at this. It's really pretty. That is really shiny, it's really pretty. I'll show you how it looks on my skin later. But now we're gonna come back with the highlight. Or actually, let's, I'm not finished. Hold on, give me one second. Okay, so let's stick, let, let's do the, all the contouring first and then go into highlighting. If y'all were trying to figure out how to contour your nose, you can do that. You can do that. And the purpose of doing it is to slim down your nose, to pinch it, to make it smaller. Sometimes maybe you think you have a big nose. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. Maybe you think you have a big nose or maybe you, you have a bump or you had some sort of accident on your nose and you, you feel like, oh, well, how can I fix it to make it look better? Um, you can grab a smaller brush. I'm using a smaller eyeshadow brush. You see it's like a little thinner and, and it's full. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slightly pat my little darker color here. And I'm gonna start, look, I'm gonna show you two different ways. Say you don't like that whole nose contour thing. You don't need to bring it all the way down here. All you need to make a pinch is bring it from here and bring it into your eyebrow. If you do this, itself, your nose is going to look a lot slimmer. You see how that really like slimmed down my face? Like my nose is, God, I don't know if these lights are good enough, y'all. I need to, I don't know if this is a good place to record or not, but that's all I needed from halfway down my nose and bring it up, bring it up. And that's all you need. Do you see how it just Gave me some shape right there. My nose looks a lot sharper. Like, here, I'm gonna cut you. <laughs> so let me do that. I'm gonna show you, okay? You can, I'm gonna show it this way. Bring it all the way down so you can see the difference. And you don't wanna do this too dark at all. This is like something like if you're going to the mall or you're going at a party or something, you really don't wanna look like you have like lines on your nose. You wanna keep it real natural. You're just enhancing your natural uh, features, okay, ladies? And you want to bring it down to here if you're going to planning on bringing it all the way down. Bring it all the way down here to your nostril. Like where your nostril meets, you see that little shadow right there? Yeah, that's where you want to bring it all the way down here. But really, you can just get away with just doing it halfway and bringing it up. You don't need all that. Just by adding that, it gave my nose a lot smaller. My nose is teeny tiny, y'all. That's the purpose of contouring your nose. You're just making it smaller than your natural. Everything, I guess, you're making it smaller. And you really, or bigger, I guess, your cheeks. <laughs> but yeah, this is where you contour your nose. You can also put some contour here if you think 
it's going to help round out that tip. Maybe you feel like you have a pointy tip or you just don't have enough volume right there. You can, you can contour a line over here and it will make you this pop out, okay? It's kind of hot in here. Oh my god, I am sweating, y'all. I need some tea. Anyways, keep on with the contouring. Say you have maybe a double chin or, or, or you know, you just don't like the shape of your chin. Go ahead and grab that kabuki, the flat kabuki brush. I don't think this is a kabuki, actually. I think it's just a flathead. But grab it, shake your powder over, and look, bring it from the back of your ear, and you want to bring it all the way across. And this is really going to help you. Uh, and you don't want to bring it too high up or too down low. You really want to get it right on that line, on your jawline. you got to make sure the brush is on that line. you got to make sure that's on, and then bring it all the way up here. Okay, ladies, I've seen this before. If you're going to put foundation like that on your face, please bring it down your neck. Sometimes I've seen a couple girls and they just forget about it and just leave it right there. And if you do this little step with the contouring, you will remember that you need to blend down your neck. You want to really make it look realistic. Not like you're wearing a mask, but more like realistic, you know? So blend it down, you don't, you know, you, you make sure that you apply most of the color here, but you want to bring it down as well. Let's do that on the other side. And I'm going to show you a little trick that I do, because, yeah, my chin is naturally, like, kind of pointy, but I feel like it's a little too fat. I don't know, I have a fat chin, I guess, I don't know. <sighs> I like doing my chin contour because it just gives me a different shape on my jaw like even though this is considerably this is your chin but from the side portfolio this is your whole jawline you know so from bringing it down here and bringing it down I bring it right here do you see I kind of have dimples right there but um right there where your lip meets right there you want to do like a swoop and bring it back to your jawline. This is where you want to apply the contour and it's really going to shape your chin down. Sometimes maybe you don't like how your chin is shaped. Um, you can come right in here and curve your chin in and point it. Maybe it can give you more of like a pointier or rounder, pointier, more of a pointier chin. You see how that looks like I just highlight. I didn't highlight. That's just the foundation color. Like right there, it looks like I highlight. I didn't. That's just the natural light, y'all. Okay. You can also look. You can contour your eyes too. Grab that same brown. You see where it naturally is cutting in. That's just straight foundation. That's what the the light naturally wants to do. That's the hollow of your eye socket right there. Look, grab some control. I'm really sweating, y'all. Like, it is hot up in here. I need a fan. Let me turn it up. Give me one second. I'll be right back. All right, I had to go turn on the AC because I am burned and it is hot in here. Well, anyways, like what I was saying, you, you can already see like a contour on your lid and that's kind of like all you need to do. You don't even need eyeshadow. Look. Contour is your eyeshadow. right on that eye socket that's all you you don't need that much you see I can almost stick my whole brush in there hi that's where you want to apply it. that's where your eye naturally creases because that's where you know that's where you have that hollow so you just want to apply a little bit of powder right there and it gives you an eye contour. That's still a contour. You're contouring every single low plane. And that's basically what you're doing. I showed you the nose, how to shape and bring down uh, your your forehead. Maybe you think you have a big forehead or whatever, or you want to just make it smaller. You know, that's basically why you contour right there. Your cheeks, you want to make them look like you have shared cheekbones or something. That's why you want to 
contour right there. So now I'm gonna just come back to the other, basically where you didn't highlight, I mean, where you didn't contour, you're gonna highlight. So that's easy enough, right? So I'm gonna come back with the lighter color, and this can be from a, a powder foundation that is just lighter, or it can be just like a contouring thing. You really, it could just be a powder foundation, girls. It's the same thing, same formula, it's like a powder foundation is just now into a, con a contour kit or palette or whatever. So I'm gonna use my fingers with this and I'm just gonna gently apply. I know loosely this is gonna be like, wow girl, you were really going out with the highlight. No, we're gonna come and just tap it with our fingers and then you're gonna brush it off and it's gonna give you that natural highlight right there because you don't need that much. And I'm gonna just tap a one little dot on my nose, bring it on the bridge of my nose and bring it up. Bring all of this up and then blend it right there. You, you can make your forehead look a lot smaller when you highlight right there. And you kind of want to make it into a TDC how it is. And it kind of helps like to highlight your eyebrow too. So you want to do there. Okay, now you want to highlight that chin. You want to get that cupid's bow. Highlight right there. You make your lips really pop out, girl. Mm, yes. Come on now. So you that's basically where you want to highlight. And you want to... It's basically like a triangle shape. If you're like, oh, is he really just applying? I know you can see what I'm doing, but... You want to create like a triangle from the inner tear duct of your eye to where like your cheek meets and then you want to bring it all the way out here to where your hairline is. Don't go past your eye like see like where your eye kind of cracks and meets out here in the outer corner. You want to kind of bring it straight out. That's what you're trying to do and that's really going to stand your cheekbone like. Damn, I got really nice cheekbone. I got some plastic surgery and like I have really nice natural cheekbones. This one down here is not really of a natural looking, like if every girl would wear this, at least if you're wearing this to school or you're going out, you you don't have to contour or I mean highlight down here. I'm gonna show you one side and one not and then tell me if you all like it. Maybe you can hit to, uh, a comment down there and tell me what you think about it. Just applying a little bit right there it makes that contour really pop so now let's come back you see how that I honestly I feel like if I was a girl and I was going oh it's my first day of school and I'm gonna highlight and contour I wouldn't do it down here this is I feel like more it's more of like a theatrical thing but you can you can do it there and it really helps stand out so now I'm just gonna grab this and blend everything out because we applied a lot of powder but we don't really need all of that So hopefully, I, I don't want to make it a long video, but do you see what that makes the difference from just no highlight and a highlight? Tell me what you guys think. I'm just going to leave it at that. And basically because all the things you put on your face are matte, I'm going to come back and have a little bit of a glow, that dewy, you know, everybody wants to look dewy, fresh, not like powder down and stuff like that so you see how I brushed all the powder off and I just have a natural highlight right there that's what you're really looking for girls so I'm gonna now show you the powder or the mineral what is it called translucent pearls okay and this is by physician formula and you don't want to really go ahead and apply this highlighter I know it's a highlighter but you don't really want to highlight with this. I've seen it. You can do it if you want to go for that look. For me personally, I feel like I have a little bit of an oily skin. So when I apply shimmery, it makes me look like I was sweating a lot or like there's a, too much light on my face. It looks greasy, but that's my own opinion. So I'm going to come back with just like a fluffy brush and lightly apply it where I feel like you need that extra sunlight kiss, okay? 
I'm going to swirl it around with this other brush. And I want to apply it right there, girl. That's all you need. Just tap it. Just tap it right there. That's all you need. Just a little bit. Do it on the other side. And that's going to give you that natural, dewy looking skin. It's going to shine right there. And it's like, it almost looks like your whole face is like glowing. Okay? That's what you don't want. You don't want to like highlight and go all crazy with it. You just need a little bit of color of shimmering right here. And then to make sure that, you know, the rest of your face is not all dulled out, come back with a bronzer. A bronzer that has, you know, a little bit of a metallic finish. I'm going to show you guys this Bronze Booster Physicians Formula Bronzer. It smells delicious. It smells like coconut. It's delicious. Uh, come back and really contour those cheeks. Like, you're not going to contour because you're already contoured, but you're going to add some color. You're going to add some dewiness. And this is shimmering, so you just come back kind of where your contour is and blend that lightly right there. And you're going to get that little bit of like um, glowing type of effect. I used to love bronzers, like I would wear it every single day, girl. But nowadays I don't, I don't wear my makeup every day. I don't wear makeup every day, so. That's basically you need to make it dewy. And I'm all finished. I know this was a very long video, so hopefully it was helpful and I explained things right. Hopefully you learned from this video. Please subscribe, hit thumbs up, comment down below what you want to see next. Uh, I can come back and give you a dramatic contour like for performance or on stage makeup. This was more of like a natural everyday.